favorite fast food restaurant for burgers? Five Guys. I can make my own burgers though. Oh, he's a frequent one. Why are you always sick? Well, my doctor's voice told me I have a naturally weak immune system during my checkups. But I think it's due to my poor sleeping habits. Something I lie about every time I go to the clinic. I constantly take small naps during the day and I end up always going to bed, but still browsing Discord. I really need to just stop. <laughs> Also, I apparently just have a lower white blood cell count than average. Um, I said to be very careful, especially in public, because someone sneezing or coughing on me could very well just make me extremely sick that evening. I just really need better sleeping habits, I guess. If there was one thing I could fix about the current state of the anime game community, what would it be? I would put a heavier media restriction on a lot of community games because I've come to realize that Recently, most YouTubers, except for a few, will get into a community game, barely even play it or dedicate any effort into progressing it, and then try to use it for content. I've done this too, obviously, but I think it's really annoying to watch someone just be clueless cool at the game because they didn't put enough like, time into it, basically. However, if a certain person at the very least gets the basics down and makes a good attempt of trying to progress within the game, it's respectable. Legal asks, what made you do ASMR? When I first made my rookie guide, I think people in the comments were requesting it, so I ended up trying it out, and that's how I ended up making those videos. Also, apparently people think my voice is like a whisper. I don't even know how, like, <laughs> how is this whispering? I sound like this when I'm whispering. I see worlds ask, what is your opinion on the LEGO Cloud, and do you think this is a necessity to be allowed to play games? Uh, I don't think it's a necessity to really have LEGO clout. It's just that these devs mainly have a group of people that they can rely on as testers to play games before it releases and report any bugs that they may have. Once people do this for a while and start gaining good enough reputation or in your terms, clout, uh, to be let in more exclusive community games so that the player base for it is relatively trustworthy. Because it's the only way to answer that. Kalila asks, why do you like black people so much? Well, I just think black people are really genuine and blunt with how they feel about things. I think it's really hot how their personalities are really either really formal or really aggressive. They're physically superior and they know how to properly season food. And they have a big A few people ask this, uh, how do you feel about games that take away concepts from other games or use other games as a base? I think it's perfectly fine to base the game off another as long as you create everything yourself without stealing assets. Maybe introducing some creative ideas of your own instead, so players aren't just playing exactly the same game. Favorite rogue lineage developer? Rai is a really chill dev, and he's the one who can just pick up games and get good at them fairly quickly, so you can always expect him to be super good at his own games. Like really good at chess and fairly easy going. And rational person to talk to in general. Go end up asking a lot of questions about community games, so I'll just try to answer them all with one response. From your questions, I think you want to know basically my opinion on what the ideal community game would be like. From what I've seen, uh, community games usually go to different routes, so I'll just say what each type should do to make the most of it. The first route is starting off as a closed community game group that allows and testers periodically through waves or just at a whim. There are more exclusive ones, but I love for more dev to like player interaction and more pos possibilities for player events such as wars or other events. For example, in Rogue, you have the Solon Sword, which is really commonly pulled nowadays, but the first time it was ever introduced was a lore event where it was a race and only one person could pull it out. Only a closed community could pull off something like that. If these events were more common and the number of players let in was a reasonably large amount, then it could stay alive for a good time, as well as avoiding exploiters for the most part. The other type is when the closed community group game is opened into either paid access or an open game. This is when the game needs to be in a state where it's fit to account for many players who could very well figure out the meta or 
how to get good at the game very quickly. If we're needing a lot of secrets that can't be covered, uncovered easily, and a lot of different paths to take within the game itself. As for updates, it should be a frequent mix of small and large updates, constant bug fixes and small tweaks, and then much larger content update. However, I'm not even a dev, so <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified to have an opinion on this matter. Why do I have no intelligence? I don't know, dude. I guess I'm just a retard that makes Roblox videos. Kinsey asks, when did you get into gaming? I got into gaming when I was about 7 or 8 years old. My parents bought my brother his first console, which is a GameCube. And I played a lot of games with him on it, like Smash Brothers and Fire Emblem. Later on he left for college, so he gave me his GameCube to me, and I really started getting into Smash. I also played a bunch of Flash games and MMOs on the computer, which ended up making me a PC gamer. I still have a spot in my heart for fighters. Keller asked me, what 2020 Roblox games are you looking forward to? Well, 2020 has a lot of good games coming out, but the ones I'm mainly excited for are Bleach Ultimate, Ninja Burst 2, um, Deep Woken, Unakiri, Blox Wars, and Vietz. Leodol asks, what makes a good game? Great question. I think what makes a good game is if the devs themselves have fun playing it. This way we'll be more passionate and updating it more. I think Rag said it best and make games you want to play. Why haven't I retired as mod? It's fun. I like restoring people because exploiters are just the worst kind of people. Any chance I get to restore life taken by an exploiter is like metaphorically spitting in said explorer's face. However, I do think the mod team does need a rework as there's a lot of inactives and also a lot of potentially good ones that are overlooked. Platinum Tube asks, which month was Rogue in its best state? I would say it was in its best state in either January or February. This is when it was still a closed community and the Tundra had just been released. Everything was still so secret, and people didn't really know the Tundra well at all. This is when combat was still relatively balanced and the game wasn't as PvP-centered, but still had an aspect of exploration. Sony asks, why do you play Roblox on campus? Alright, look. I only play on campus because my Wi-Fi at home is absolute garbage. That's one of the reasons why I just really dislike break, because I'm constantly busy and Whenever I do get free time, it is just really slow. On campus, I get to play whatever I want, whenever I want, and it's in a more comfortable spot too. All with extremely fast internet. I just have to be careful that no one catches me, especially next year since two rogue players are transferring to my school. <sighs> so yeah, 